The 100 plus cows that live on Collins Farm need to eat every single day, 365 days per year. That means someone has to prepare their meals without the luxury of taking a day off or calling in sick. And who better for the job than a lifelong dairy farmer, animal caretaker, and master chef for cows, Paul. Or dad as I know him. How does he do it, and how much work does it involve? Let's dive in and take a closer look behind the farm. So what exactly do cows eat, and how do we store enough food to feed them throughout the whole year? Well, most of you know that cows love hay, which is grass that has been cut and dried for long-term storage. But that's not all they eat. They also love munching on bunk mix, which around here is the number one requested item on the menu. Bunk mix is a ground-up concoction of corn silage, grain, minerals, and several types of grasses called haylage. These covered concrete bunks are where most of the ground up goodness is stored. Both bunks are restocked every harvest season with freshly grown crops that will eventually ferment into a delicious and sweet snack for hungry mouths. Wish you guys could smell this over the camera. It just smells so sweet, like sweet corn. Mainly because it's corn. And corn is inherently sweet. Mm, almost makes you want to try it. It might not sound appetizing to you or I, but trust me, the cows love it. One bunk houses silage, or chopped up fermented corn and corn stalks, and the other holds haylage, which in our case is fermented grass, clover, and winter rye. Other ingredients such as minerals, grains, and sometimes molasses are also added to create the completed feed mix. Everything is loaded one scoop at a time into this machine, called a mixer wagon, which evenly tumbles and then dispenses the feed to be enjoyed by the herd. But because we have three separate feeding groups, Dad spends roughly three hours of his day just feeding the livestock. Add in six hours of milking and barn chores before hopping back onto a tractor to go work the fields, and Dad is quite the busy man. In fact, it can be common for him to work 120 hours per week during harvest season. Collins Farm needs to grow roughly 220 acres of crops each year in order to have enough cattle feed on hand until the next harvest. Of course, the time and energy consuming process of growing that many plants from seed will have to wait for its own episode, but it is worth noting the amount of work it takes just to keep the bellies full on the farm. Guys, tip the feed bin over again, huh? Yeah, that's a little shame. Yes, you did. Why all of our stuff is broken, ladies. In addition to bunk mix, the cows on Collins Farm also enjoy plain old grass. When the pastures are open in the summer, the grass doesn't even stand a chance. But in the winter, when cows prefer a warm barn over deep snow, grass is still available to them in the form of hay, which they love. A group of 10 full-grown cows can consume a 400-pound bale of hay in a single day. Of course, the calves have a different diet altogether. Like humans, they start off nursing from their mothers and live entirely on milk. In some cases, newborns have to be given a bottle of milk by hand to make sure they're getting enough to eat. Older calves eventually learn how to drink milk from a bucket and are slowly introduced to solid foods. All in all, in order to put food into your hands, we first need to put food in front of the livestock. This video is simply a quick glimpse at one of the many aspects of dairy farming that my father undertakes each day. His dedicated work ethic and commitment to his herd is one of the many factors that make it possible for you to enjoy the amazing dairy products that cattle produce. If you would like to learn more about farming in New England, please share this video and follow and subscribe for more. I'm Corey Collins, and this has been another episode of Behind the Farm.